Ah, it's good to be back. We're hopping into Mid Journey AI again today, my favorite thing to do. And this time, we're not gonna build websites, but we're gonna build business logos. So, I have three fake logos that I'm gonna try to make in Mid Journey AI live in front of you right now. This is not pre-planned. Let's see what happens. Let's see how our logos turn out. All right, so the first company that we're gonna build a logo for is some sort of outdoor brand, some sort of hiking brand, like an REI, something like that. Something rugged, something campfire-y, something mountain-y, something to get you outside. Maybe it's an apparel company, maybe it's a tech company, I don't know. But we want to build some sort of campfire logo inside of Mid Journey AI. I have no real inspiration for this, but that's why Mid Journey is so great, because we can type in a prompt and it types out the inspiration for us and we can just kind of follow it down a path. So let's begin. So we're coming to Mid Journey AI here and we'll just forward slash imagine and maybe just type in a prompt. Maybe campfire business logo, um, retro hexagonal badge, uh, maybe tech company, realistic, and then we'll just emphasize that it's a business logo and we'll see what good old Mid Journey pumps out for us. All right, the bot is done. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I won't lie to you guys, three of these are pretty sick. I really like this one. This one's kind of sick too. I love this one. I really, really love this one down here. So let's do a couple things. Let's run a couple variations on this bottom right one. We'll see if it spits anything else out. And then let's just let's just do it again, maybe change the prompt slightly and see if we get anything different. So um, we'll keep it similar because I kind of like how this turned out. Campfire Business logo. Maybe we'll add some mountains this time. Maybe a waterfall. Retro, again, with a hexagonal uh, badge, just to give that kind of logo feel. Tech company, realistic, business logo. All right, so we'll run this as well. All right, so we have four variations here of that nice bottom right one. These aren't looking bad. I kind of like top left. Um, again, there's a little bit of wording down here we could clean up in like Canva or some other photo editing software, but you know, this isn't looking bad for like one variation. So I'm gonna upscale this top left one and see how that turns out while our other one is in the oven cooking. So let's upscale top left. All right, so we can see these bad boys are in the oven. It's looking interesting. It's still kind of loading, so let's see where it pops out here. These are kind of looking cool though, I won't lie. I kind of like, I kind of like bottom right. But let's see how it turns out. All right, so our second version is out of the oven now. And again, we've got some kind of sick ones here. There's some there's some promise here. I kind of like that one, but it's looking a little goofy down here. This one's obviously similar to our first one. Again, these aren't bad, guys. These aren't bad. I think I'm going to roll with this one just because I like the badge. I think. Actually, I'm going to roll with the first one. I like this one more. So let's run three. Let's run some more variations of this one, and then let's see what pops out. Okay, so cool. While that's running, let's go find our upscaled version of the other one. Here it is. Ooh, that's looking nice, actually. Ooh. Ooh. I love that, actually. I like the little, like, bluish-green speckle. Okay, that's really nice. Obviously, we could get rid of this little wording down here, maybe clean this little spot up. But that's looking like a decent starting point for a logo. So let me save this one, actually. All right. Let's come down here. Looks like we have some variations of this. Again, not bad, but I won't lie to you. I think I'm gonna stick with that original one. I think I'm gonna stick with, with this one right here. Okay, so I, I think we're gonna run with this one for our campfire business logo. what do we do? Type in two prompts, run a couple variations, and we got this. Would that take us four minutes, five minutes? We have a cool looking, at least promising business logo for our outdoor rugged apparel company. All right, so let's move on to our second company here. The idea for this case study is some sort of podcast with a theme of like 1950s lunchbox. I don't know what it is. Maybe that's just the brand, but we want a podcast logo that has something to do with a 1950s tin chrome diner lunchbox. All right, I know that's super random, but let's see what happens. Let's see what Mid Journey can spit out for us. All right, so we'll come down to the prompt and let's add in our prompt. So, I don't know, lunchbox, business logo, 1950s, chrome. Let's go again with that hexagonal uh, badge. I like that for our logo, so let's add that in there. Realistic, groovy, business logo. All right, let's see what it comes out with. All right, so it's out of the oven. Let's see what we have here. Uh, 
uh, I'm not really liking any of these. Maybe this one, but not exactly what I was thinking. So, all right, so let's come down to our prompt here and let's change our prompt slightly and see if we can get anything better. All right, so let's go with Chrome Lunchbox, podcast logo, maybe 1950s. I want it Chrome, hexagonal badge again, retro groovy logo. All right, let's see what that does. All right, so our logos are out of the oven here. Let's see what we have. Okay, these are a little better. I like these a little better. I kind of am liking bottom left, although it doesn't really look like a lunchbox. It's not bad, it's kind of cool. So let me run some variations on bottom left. We'll pick one of those and upscale it. While that's running, we'll tweak the prompt one last time and see if we can get something a little closer to what we want. I want a little food maybe. Maybe like a sandwich popping out of it. So let's do um, Chrome Lunchbox again, podcast logo lunch sandwich 1950s chrome retro groovy logo all right let's see what that does okay so our four variations are out of the oven these are looking kind of cool there's some promise here I, I like top right i like top right that's a chrome lunchbox right there okay i'm gonna upscale this one at a minimum, we can bring this into some sort of design platform and add like font or like some text, something like that. Maybe with the name of our business or our podcast, but that could serve as a backbone. Let's save this one for now and upscale and see what else pops out in our third prompt. So we'll just upscale number two, see what happens there. And let's go see if our other one is completed and it is, and I don't really like any of these. Those are all kind of ugly. So let's bail on that third one and let's run with Let's run with this. Let's see how it turns out upscaled, and then we'll probably just save it and run with it. Okay, guys, so our upscale version is done. It's out of the oven, and I'm really liking this. That looks, that actually looks really sick. That came out nice. So again, we could keep playing with this, keep running variations on it, but you know, for the sake of this video, this is not bad. Again, add a little font here, add some branding. This thing might be golden. All right, so let's save this down and uh, we'll leave that there for business number two, our Lunchbox podcast logo. All right, so we're moving along real nicely now. I'm having a great time. I hope you guys are enjoying this. We have one last little case study, one last logo that we wanna build, hypothetically, just in case we wanna start a business that involves something with an avocado. Maybe we're opening up a food truck or a healthy restaurant, or maybe we're opening up a stand around the corner at a local market and selling some sort of avocado toast or something. Let's do something with an avocado. Something fresh, something light, something fun. Let's see what we can do. So let's uh, let's go to our prompt, forward slash imagine, and let's just type something in. Avocado business logo, we'll just start with that. Juicy, fresh, bright, colorful, vivid maybe, uh, realistic logo. Let's see what happens. All right, so our avocado logos are out of the oven here. Uh, uh, none of these are jumping out to me. Maybe top left or bottom left, but none of them I'm loving. Maybe bottom left is probably my favorite. I'll run a couple variations on this, see what we get, but let's change the prompt slightly and see if we can improve this. So we'll just go make variations on the third one. Let that run in the background. And then let's change our prompt slightly. Same thing though, avocado business logo. Juicy, fresh, textured, real, healthy, bright, colorful. Let's add a badge, maybe that'll help. Hexagonal badge, can't say that word. <laughs> Business logo, realistic. Okay, so it looks like our variations are done. These aren't awful. I kinda like top right. Um, we'll see if we wanna come back. Let's see what this new prompt is gonna give us, but maybe top right could play if we're in a pinch. So let's just, you know, let's just hold for now and see what our second prompt comes out of the oven with. Okay, so our second prompt is out of the oven. Let's see what we have here. Interesting, okay, I think these are definitely better than what we just had. I'm liking top left, I don't know about you guys. I'm liking top left. I like this little lattice here, but I don't even know why that's there. Looks like we have some weird words there, which I don't like. This looks like some sort of like Boy Scout badge. <laughs> uh, I'm liking top left. I think, that, I think that could play as like a cool little sleek business logo. Let's run a couple variations on that one and upscale our favorite one and we'll probably just go with that. So let's run some variations on number one and see what happens. Okay, so our variations are out of the oven. Let's see what we got. Interesting. I think bottom right is definitely the best one. 
I think bottom right is by far the best one. All right, so let's upscale this one. We'll save it down and then we'll have three business logos ready for our final showcase. Let's do it. So we will just upscale four here. Let that cook. All right, so that is done. So we'll just save this down. That's looking pretty good. A little hard edge there, but not bad, not bad. So we'll save this down. Okay, so now we have all three of our business logos. Let's put them up on the screen in our final showcase, see how we did. All right, so in summary, here's our three logos. We have our first one, our outdoor apparel, rugged mountain campfire logo that we've come up with here, which I really like. I think it turned out nicely. Uh, not perfect, couple little things we have to clean up, but to serve as an inspiration for our future official logo, this is not bad, this is not bad. Secondly, our 1950s chrome-plated retro lunchbox logo, maybe for some sort of podcast, is right here. It's really cool. I think it'd be sweet if we could get some headphones kind of like on the outside of the lunchbox or maybe a microphone sitting in front of it. But for a couple variations and a couple prompts, this is not bad. At a minimum, inspirational for your final official logo. And then lastly, for our all-natural, healthy, green avocado food stand around the corner, we've come up with this, this cool, avocado badge that kind of sits there with a big pit in the middle and grabs your attention. Again, none of these are perfect. We spent probably two to three minutes on each of these running a couple different prompts and variations for each of them. And this is what we came out with. It's not bad. It's not bad for like 15 minutes of work. I think the way you can really harness Mid Journey AI to create your business logos is to really just, if you're having a brain freeze and you can't figure out what you want your logo to look like, type in what your company is about in the prompt and just see what the AI comes up with. Even if it doesn't end up being your final official logo for your company or your brand, at least it could point you in the right direction, give you some ideas and give you some inspiration. So thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, go down and smash that like button. That'd be awesome. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing. That'd also be great. If you have any questions, get down in the comments and let me know. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you all for being here. It's great to have you along for the ride and I'll see you all on next week's video. Peace.